I've been lost on this island for so long, I don't know what I'm going to do. It seems as though I may need some sort of assistance. Hey man, I don't know what's going on man, this island sucks shit man, hey, calm down. Oh. Get up, you need to relax, we're going to find a way to get off of this godforsaken island. Oh shit son, shit son I'm lost son, I'm gangster son, gangster glitter son, but I'm lost, I'm lost. I'm cracking up, man. I'm cracking up. C calm down. Calm down. Okay, calm down. We need to get some shelter, some food, and make sure there's no monsters on this island. Monsters? Yeah, man. I seen something freaking back there on that hill a little while ago. Sock monkey monkey. I just heard some crazy noises. Oh, what have you guys heard? Have you heard anything? What's going on? I don't know. We've all been standing here scared. We we just gonna stay here and, and, and ask questions and not get them answered. Okay, so can I stand with you and not have my questions answered too? Ah! Yeah, 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 yeah. I say we head for that Skull Mountain over there. You mean that Skull Mountain over there? I don't know. That's one scary Skull Mountain. Oh my god! There's a stormtrooper with a bottle of creamy Jif and a copy of Scary Movie 3. I think he wants to make us watch it! Ah! You will never escape my island. Because <laughs> I'm going to make you watch nothing but shitty movies. <laughs> And I'm going to make you eat nothing but just peanut butter. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever seen an episode of Lost, but it's quite possibly the most cryptic show ever. How do you watch a show where every week the questions that you had last week are just answered with more questions? That sounds ridiculous to me. I heard it's a great show. I just particularly don't like being confused all the damn time about a show that I'm supposedly supposed to like. Wrap that shit up. I haven't watched a lot of Lost myself, but from the friends that I have that watch Lost, it seems like every week it just gets more and more confusing. Why the hell do you watch this damn show? I don't even understand it. Maybe I should check it out. But at the cost of my sanity, I think I'll leave it alone for now until it all comes out on DVD. I see why they call it Lost. That's exactly what the fuck you get from watching that damn show. What's up guys? It's Thursday, February 4th. 2010, and we're gonna hop right into the action for you today. So the Lost Season 6 premiere came on last night, and I know everybody was excited to watch and see if some of the questions that they had might have been answered. No, more questions. Although they did tie up some of the loose ends, they just added more questions on top of the questions. Some of the biggest reveals were, Juliet is really dead. Not island dead, really dead. Multiple timelines now exist. Wow, Saeed dies briefly. They show a little bit about Richard Alpert's past with the man in black. And they also reveal that the man in black is a smoke monster. He's a shapeshifter. Who knew? This is out of this world. No, it's not. It's a fucking made up show. It's almost like they're making up the shit as they go along. The island, he finds some magic Twinkies, a whole bunch of people are there, fucking magic dinosaurs all over the place shitting everywhere. He slips and falls into some magic shit. Flies down a hole in the mountain, which leads him to the land of the lost. And there's fucking smurfs and elves and trolls. The sky is falling. They leap into the river of Carmel, which will reset the fountain of youth. Which, if you place the atom bomb into with some grapes and a nice vinaigrette. Is a seven year old writing this shit? I'm just saying. If being confused is your thing, then lost is the show for you. It even says it in the title. Lost. They should have added a few more words though. You will be. In another story where a person is about to be trapped on an island, Obama's aunt is doing court over her Kenya deportation. What? 
Yeah, I was surprised too. And you think if you're the president, you can just scratch a couple bags and tell them to get the hell off your auntie. I understand about national security, and I understand about our borders, and we don't want illegal people to come here, but they come here all the time regardless. What I'm saying is I applaud the fact that we're doing the right thing and getting illegals out of our country. I think they should give Obama's aunt a test to see if she would become a viable citizen of the United States of America, and then make a decision whether or not she should be deported. American Idol judge Kira Dow Gardy Got a little hot and bothered this weekend by a strip tease that one of the contestants were doing on the American Idol show this week. Just got married last July, but you could tell she was really hot under the collar from this hot, sexy beefcake all up in her mists. Casey James is this kid's name, and he was singing a song, and he was kind of unbuttoning his shirt, taking it all off for her. I guess she got a little moist and... Couldn't control herself. There's even more to the story. Don't give a fuck. I stopped watching American Idol like 10 seasons ago. If you're still watching the show, either go to fucking be on it or get a life. So the Super Bowl is coming up and the Colts and the Saints are ready to do Fury's battle. But hold on. Did you know you couldn't watch the Super Bowl on a TV that has a screen larger than 55 inches? What? So I paid all this money for this nice ass television? Are you telling me if I watch the Super Bowl on it, the NFL's gonna come sue me? They can kiss my ass. There's links in the sidebar that'll tell you all the cans and cannots that you can do at the Super Bowl party that you have planned out if you have a larger than 55 inch television screen and you want your friends to enjoy it without being scrunched. If they try to come after you for watching the Super Bowl on your nice 60 or 65 inch television, sue them for not making it abundantly clear that you couldn't watch the NFL Super Bowl on a TV larger than that. They didn't say that when you bought the television. The NFL doesn't make that a policy of making that well known. So don't try to sue me because I want to enjoy a larger screen on my television. Who the hell cares if it's 55 inch, 54, 62? Who gives a shit? Shut up. I'm going to watch football. What executive made this decision? You know, I think... They should only be able to watch up to 55 inches because 60 is just way too much overexposure of the NFL. Get the fuck out of here. And another story where laws are just being violated left and right. Conrad Murray, which is Michael Jackson's doctor who gave him the propothal, which we found out killed him, is turning himself in to the police before his court date. At first, I just wanted to go right into this guy, like, you're a doctor, and you're giving this guy medicine that's not prescribed to him, and, you know, you should have an anesthesiologist there to make sure he's taking the right amounts, and he should always be monitored because the propothal lowers your breathing and your blood rate and your heart rate. Conrad said Michael needed it because he was a chronic insomniac. He even called it his milk. Milk. Fortified with you won't give a fuck because you won't be having any more of this shit after you take enough of it. He said he was trying to wean Michael off of the drug. It seems as though his attempts work. He's off of the shit. In November, Dr. Murray went back to his practice to see regular patients so he could raise money to fight this case. So for all you brave patrons and patients that are going to see Dr. Conrad Sleepy Time Murray, check your dosages. I don't know if you knew this, but China tried to hack Google. I don't know if that makes any sense of actually blaming all of China for trying to hack Google, but someone in China was trying to hack Google. So Google is teaming up with the NSA to find out who in China tried to hack their site. You know, Google's not really saying what the hacker was trying to do on their site. They're just saying that they want answers of who did it, and China's pretty much saying, fuck you, America! As we already know, China limits its people to the amount of information that they can receive on the internet, which is stupid in itself because that holds you back. Everything you need to know is on the internet, and if you can't get to the information, then you just stuck without it. That's stupid. You know what China needs? China needs a smack on the nose like a bad dog. Bad China! Bad China! If you don't give them consequences, you're just rewarding their behavior by saying we're not going to do anything if you attack us, whether it's on our soil or through our internet. I know this was a long one. Thanks for sticking by and listening to all the stories. I'm Disaster, and I'll see you here again on the next DPT real soon. Peace.